Okay, I'm gonna show you real quick what a healthy worm bin looks like after it's been actively working for months and months and months. This is my barrel composting bin that I keep here at the house. This is what it might look like when you open up your bin lid after you've been feeding your worms for a couple months. You can see that I've got corn over here in this corner. That's where I'm feeding. When you feed, you feed in a corner and then you feed in another corner. And then if you could take a peek, I don't know if you could see, but there's mites. Um, crawling around. I've got some red mites and white mites um, crawling around. That's okay just because my bin's pretty moist. And then if you dig around, this bin's actually pretty wet. See how it's kind of fudgy as I'm working through it? There's lots of eggs in here, so it's a good happy bin. There's egg there, egg there, but there's lots of worms and the worms are happy in this bin. Let me see if there's any other little critters that I want to point out. Yep, right here there's some white white worms or pot worms. A lot of times people will see these worms whenever in their bin and they think, oh, I've got a lot of baby worms. Wow, yay, I've got a lot. Those are pot worms. They just come with decaying matter. They are not baby red wiggler worms. They are pot worms. Baby red wiggler worms look like little red wiggler worms, just like I showed you earlier in class. So they are not, they're okay, they're part of the normal ecosystem, but they are not baby red wigglers. And they do um, eat some, but not a whole lot. So this is what your active bin will look like after, you know, you've been feeding for a couple months. Your worms look nice and juicy and moist, and they're actively eating the bedding. You maybe have, are going to have some sprouts in there, and that's what it looks like.